Uh, good morning, grade threes. Today we are doing Fareme. We are doing Fareme, Family, Religion and Moral Education. And our topic is National Value System. National Value System. Break it down, National Value System. Yes. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, Zimbabwe is made uh, of different people, people from different religions, uh, different languages, but uh, we are supposed to respect one another and we are also supposed to love one another despite our differences because we are all Zimbabweans. And um, we want to look at respect because uh, respect helps us to love one another, uh, to tolerate one another, and also to empathize with one another and respect can start from uh, from you respecting yourself it starts with uh, you respecting yourself and then others can be able to respect you in turn so we are going to look at um, these words one by one uh, respect one another because respect can be shown in many ways. Okay, Michelle, you will be hearing me as we go. Michelle? Michelle? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, so we are going to look at uh, these words. They help us to respect one another, or as they help us to respect ourselves. Okay, so we will look at tolerance. Tolerance. A tolerance from the word tolerate. Uh, T O L E. T-O-L-E-R-A Did you say? T-O-L-E R-A N-C-E Agatha, can you hear me clearly? Agatha, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, Mel, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, and Nick? Yes. Okay. Okay, if you return down tolerance. Yes. 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 Tolerance. It's being able to accept others who are different from us. Being able to accept others who are different from us. Tolerance, we need tolerance so that we can be able to accept others who are different from us. For example, we see that um, in Zimbabwe we've got people from different uh, religions different cultures and different languages. So if I am a Roman Catholic and uh, someone is uh, from Zion, I am supposed to accept them as they are. 
I am not supposed to, uh, to, to make them be Catholics as I am. So you accept them as they are. And if we do that, and if we do that, then we can go together nicely. Are we together? Yes. 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 And uh, as for languages also, if I am shown, and I am also supposed to learn some, uh, 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 to learn Jebele, and you can also learn Shona so that we can meet up with and we can be able to uh, to discuss and to love one another as one people. Are we together? Yes. Yes, so we have to tolerate others despite our differences, could it be language, could it be religion or culture? We have to respect one another. Yes. Yes, I hope you are going to practice that. Okay, so uh, if there is tolerance, if there is tolerance, we are able to accept one another with all our differences. With all our differences. Are you getting me? Yes. Yes. And uh, this can also even extend even to the way we look. Some people are short and some people are should accept them yes. as they are. Not trying to make them look like us. Are we together? Yes. 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 Okay. And then let's move on to patriotism. Patriotism. Can you copy it down? P A T A T P A T R P A T R I P A R T Y sorry P A T R Y sorry R I P A T R I O Teacher, can you start over? P I still hear the music. Okay, Mishi, can you talk to Mama today so that they can do something with your phone? And because uh, maybe it has got a problem there and it is uh, it also makes some noise. Michelle, are you hearing me? Yes. Okay, so Michelle, P A. Are you getting that? P A. Jackie. Mark, Mark, so. P A T. Can you get me, Michelle? P A T R I. Okay. Uh, she can't get me anyway. Let me finish the writing. Uh, now. Yes. Jackie. P A T R I Okay, let me write it down. Okay, there it is. Can you see? Yes. Okay. Okay, let's 
right faster? I'm done. Okay. Fabiwa, can you see it? Tadiwa, are you done? Okay. Are you done, um, Nick? Tadiwa, hello? Okay. Okay, so patriotism. I hope uh, you are going to understand uh, what I'm going to read there. If you have got a book in front of you, if you have got a book in front of you, can you open on page 91? Open on page 91. There is a small, a short passage that I'm going to read there. On patriotism. Okay, can you listen attentively now? There is another gadget that is making noise. Okay, my name is Ropa Fazo. My name is Ropa Fazo. Okay, I am a soldier in Zimbabwe. My name is Ropa Fazo. I am a soldier in Zimbabwe. My parents fought in the liberation struggle. My parents fought in the liberation struggle. Their stories gave me the strength to train and be a soldier. I have gone for duties around Zimbabwe to protect my country. Even in other countries, I, in other countries, I go as a peacemaker. Soldiers sometimes go to war. It is part of the work. Now I can share my stories with my parents about how we love and protect our country. It is everyone's duty to love and protect their country. Loving your country is called patriotism. Okay, I'll read again for the second time. My name is Ropa Fazo. I am a soldier in Zimbabwe. My parents fought in the liberation struggle. Their stories gave me the strength to train and be a soldier. I have gone for duties around Zimbabwe to protect my country. Even in other countries, I go as a peacemaker, a peacekeeper. Soldiers sometimes go to war. It is part of the work. Now I can share my stories with uh, my parents about how we love and protect our country. It is everyone's duty to love and protect their country. Loving your country is called patriotism. So what is patriotism from the story that I've read? Patriotism is, yes ma'am? Protecting your country. Yes, protecting and... Agatha, mm -hmm. unmute yourself first. Agatha, can you unmute yourself? Eh, now give us your answer. Patriotism now, is loving your country. Yes, protecting and loving, loving your country. Your country. So soldiers who go to fight for their country, they are protecting it, 
they are loyal and loving to their country. That's yes. what uh, patriotism is all about. Okay, and then we move on to the third, the third word or the third action that we should take so that we can um, respect one another. Okay, uh, empathy. Empathy. I am going to show you the word and then you can copy from there. Empathy. There it is. Okay, Tadio, can you Yes, Yes, Okay. Um, Nick? Yes. Okay. Okay, I... Michelle? Okay, can you see it? Good, and you are done. All right. Yes. With the explanation for empathy. Um, empathy. It is when it is when you can. Okay, can you so can you hear me? Can you so? Okay, we can't hear you. Your end is up, but we can't see or hear you. Okay, so it is when you share and understand. This is when you share and understand what another person is feeling. In other words, we can say it's putting yourself in somebody's shoes putting yourself in somebody's shoes yes and i'm not saying um if you want to empathize with somebody go and get their shoes and wear them <laughs> and is that clear yes Mel is loving yes. It. so we are saying um you are understanding and you are actually sharing what uh, the other person is feeling. Are we together? Yes. Yes. So if someone is sad, if someone is sad, you can understand why they are sad. If someone is sad, or if someone is um, is crying, you have lost your beloved one, and uh, and the, the person is crying, you can understand how they are. Feeling. Feeling. Yes. And you can share their loss or you can share their sadness. Are we together? Yes. Yes. And even yes. if your classmate, if your classmate is sick, you can actually also understand, you can actually uh, feel how they are feeling, and you can actually empathize with them. Okay, or you can help them. <coughs> Empathize helps uh, to avoid, it helps uh, to avoid conflicts. It helps to avoid what? Conflicts. Conflicts. Okay. Yes, and we have done conflicts. We said um, uh, conflict is what is the disagreements um, that are uh, uh, amongst people the disagreements amongst people. So to avoid these disagreements, we have to empathize, putting yourself in somebody's shoes. Okay. And it also helps us um, to love one another. It also helps us to love one another, like we're talking about um, 
if your classmate or your neighbor, if they've lost somebody, a beloved one, and um, you put yourself in their shoes uh, by going to, uh, to, to attend the funeral, understanding how they are feeling by helping them uh, with all those things that we discussed, maybe contributing firewood, mealy meal or money or something. They, they actually feel loved. They feel you are part of them if you talk to them also. Okay, and then the last one is self-respect. Self-respect. Remember, I said before you respect others, you have to respect yourself. So it's showing care for your, one, for your own self. Self-respect is showing care for your own self, valuing your beliefs and your feelings. And uh, what one does shows if you or she has got self-respect. A person with self-respect will do positive things. A person with self-respect will do good things. Are we together? Yes. 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 And makes uh, a person happy and uh, takes good care uh, yes. He takes good care of himself or yourself. And other people can respect you if you respect yourself. Are we together? Yes. Yes. If you respect yes. yourself, others will also respect you. So this is all that uh, we had today under um, National Value System and um, we were discussing about respect and that we can respect um, in different ways like tolerance, uh, being patriotic, um, uh, empathy, and also self-respect. And if we do all these things, then we can be able to live together in peace and harmony. Mm -hmm. How many of us um, understood what we learned today? How many of us understood what we were learning today? Okay, Michelle, Mel, Agatha, okay, you didn't understand, okay, and Agatha, Mel, sorry, Nick. Tadiwa also understood, Nick, you didn't understand what we learned today. Okay. He's frozen. Okay, he's frozen. Okay, so you can also read the pages that I've given you. I'm going to upload, you can put your hands down. I'm going to upload the work. It is on page 92, like what I said, and answer number one to number five. Enjoy your re your, the rest of the day. Until we meet again tomorrow, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Teacher is there in the belly lesson. Mel, talk to Mrs. Daniel. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. -bye. bye. bye.